grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to God in the highest. We thank him for the awesome year 2021. We enjoy his faithfulness, his goodness and his tender mercies. And we are very, very expectant for what God is going to do in 2022. Maybe you had some unanswered prayers or some expectations that were not met. I don't want you to be down. I want you to remain in high spirit because God doesn't need a long time to do a big thing. The remaining couple of hours for this year to roll out, God can still do something great in your life. In Psalm 65 and verse 11, the word of God tells us that he crowns the year with his goodness and his path drop fatness. So do not be discouraged. Do not throw in the towel. Be expectant. And I want to say a few things to help you prepare as we move into the year 2022. You see, one thing that we understand about God is that there are certain things that God does on a daily basis. In Psalm 68 and verse 19, the Bible says, Blessed be the Lord who daily loadeth us with benefits. However, there are certain things that God does at certain seasons. In Psalm 1 and verse 3, the Bible says, It shall be like a tree planted by the rivers of water that bringeth forth its fruit in his season. If you look at John chapter 5 and verse 4, the Bible talks about a particular pool where there, were a, uh, there, there was a great multitude of impotent folks, people that had all manner of sicknesses and diseases. And the Bible says, At a certain season, an angel came down from heaven and entered into the pool and troubled the water. And whoever got in there first, got a miracle and got healed of whatever disease that they had. So you see from the scriptures, there are certain things that are done daily. There are certain things that are done uh, in, in, in seasons. Now, we're about to enter a new season. The year 2022 is going to signal a new season for you all in the name of Jesus. However, we need to be prepared for it. We need to uh, be able to discern what God is about to do and how that is about to change our season. In Luke 19 verses 41 to 44, the Bible says when Jesus came near the city, he wept over the city. Why? Because the city did not know her time of visitation. 2022 is going to be your time of visitation in the name of Jesus. But it is important for you to be able to discern what God is about to do. In Romans chapter 8 and verse 14, in the message translation, the word of God tells us the God's spirit beckons. There are things to do and there are places to go. And so this is where your active participation and cooperation with the Holy Spirit comes in. So that whatever he wants to birth in your life, you can be an active participant in that. Now listen. In Jeremiah chapter 10 and verse 23, the word of God tells us, Oh Lord, I know that the way of man is not in him. It is not in man that walketh to direct his steps. What does that mean? None of us, none of us has the entire blueprint of our lives in our hands. We don't have it, but the Holy Spirit does. Therefore, we need his guidance. We need his leading. We need his promptings. We need his instructions. It is by these instructions that he will tell us what to do in the coming year. What to start doing. What to stop doing. What to do differently. So that the ultimate purpose of the Father and the Lord Jesus Christ can come to manifestation in our lives. I want to encourage you to get into his presence the remaining hours of this year. And let's climax that at the 31st, uh, December 31st crossover service at the World Alive International Conference Center behind uh, Nepa office opposite Mokola Market, Mokola Ibadan. That's talking about the headquarters of the Stone Church. For those who are watching online, who are seeing this video online, and you might not be able to uh, come physically, I'm going to ask you to please get on YouTube and search or just go on social media and look at the Stone NG. That's the handle. Get there, search for us. Who come to that crossover service? I believe through God's servant, Pastor Alex Adebwe, God is going to be releasing instructions that we need to run with in the year 2022 and his name and his purpose 
alone will be glorified in our lives. Let's begin to get into his presence even before that service. Personally, learn to wait on God. Get instructions for your life. Get the blueprint of God for your life. God, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to stop doing? What do you want me to do differently? This is very important because the way of a man is not in himself. Let the Holy Spirit be your guide and let him prepare you for the year 2022. And I believe that everything that God has in store for you will come to full manifestation in the name of Jesus. Until then, remain in his presence. Continue to discern by the leading of the Spirit. Continue to listen to the voice of the Holy Spirit within your born-again spirit. And it shall be well with you in Jesus' name. One, this year will end in praise for you. Two, 2022, you will be ushered into that year on the platform of grace and peace from God our Father and the Lord Jesus Christ. In Jesus' name, somebody shout amen. God bless you. See you. Bye.